Hey guys, Mr. Toad here. How's it going? So here again is my Amazon Hardcore. She's level 71. And I have led her all the way to hell. And she's still alive. Uh, I think I'm in Act 4 Hell and I still need to kill Satan. But here's the thing. Uh, she's all self-found, okay? I'm not trading anything with this character. It's a good way to go, man. It's a rewarding path, you know? And of course, with that, she's still using junk javelins. Yeah, right here. Some magic javelin. It's horrid. It's ceremonial. But it's two to all skills, or javelin and spear skills anyway, so whatevs. And I have uh, magic find gear on right now, so I'm about to show you a quick little magic find trick for Nightmare. Especially if you're hardcore, because you got to be really careful in hardcore. You only get one shot, man. And here's my non-MF gear right here, these blood fists, but for right now I'm just having them a chance guard on. But of course, you gotta start racking up some gear if you wanna be able to make your way through hell. So what I did, and I found a few items doing this, okay? I found like uh, gold wrap, probably this ring, uh, a couple runes and shit, maybe even these boots, I'm not sure exactly where I got those boots, but the unique start falling, you know? But here's what I do. I first go to Frigid Highlands in Nightmare Mode, and I kill these little bastards right here. And you can do this really fast, which is, uh, especially with the Javas on, which is something that's really nice about it, but I might take my time a bit just checking out these items. Piece of shit. And then you make your way down here. You see that right there, there's like two bears, a couple other items, and you often can find runes doing this. You kill a couple of unique guys that are around, like this guy, if he's there. It varies quite a bit. But you often do see other bosses and stuff around Shank. And then you go kill Shank. Shit, he's lightning enchanted. But so be it. And these belts are a good thing to identify. I'll show you a nice one that I have in my chest. Because sometimes they roll with really nice mods. I mean, some of them can be freaking GG, man. Rare belts. It's something uh, people often skip. Like, they'll just leave them on the ground. Uh, for example, though, a good belt would have, like, 24% faster hit recovery, along with other stats that you desire. Maybe dual res, maybe 20-some strength, maybe uh, 60 to 70 life or more. Uh, this is a pretty junky one. But nonetheless, it has faster hit recovery, it has life, it has lightning res. And it has a cool mod right here, the Frost Nova One Struck is tight. Because it can be very defensive, and uh, you need all the defense you can get, especially in hell. But then from there, I'll take her down this way, all right? And we'll go into, and you don't get the waypoint in the Halls of Vault. Don't get it. Otherwise, this portal right here will vanish. So you just talk to Anya after you save her, and then she'll open up that portal. And I think you can go kill Nithalak if you want. But you don't have to. And then you kill these guys. And of course, Pendle Skin right here, whatever, always drops two items as far as I know. Sometimes more. So you could find uniques from him and other things. And then from there, I'll go over to the Trav, bruh. Yeah, Iceman makes his way down this way. This is a little Trixie that, uh,. I decided to show you guys. So like this damn video. It's so... The trick is just so mind-boggling, isn't it? Like, who would have thought of this shit? It must be an Iceman video. But if you will, like the damn video. Become a patron, man. It looks like... Fatboy lost a patron or some shit. Getting 29 monies a month now. I had uh, 11 patrons, but I know he's only got 10. But whatevs, man. So if you guys want to become a patron... Click that link in the description below. Every little bit of money's helps, man. So, I appreciate it. But anyway, here's the last place where I hit right here. Kill these little bastards. Oh, shit. Look at this. An ancient axe. Dude, that's a hog. Like, I'm pretty sure you can get Titans. Oh, look at that. Look at how close she came from dying. Holy shit. She came very close to dying. Uh, you gotta be careful when you have amp damage on you, like I do right now. And then when their corpses pop, like this guy's cold enchanted, watch all the damage he's gonna do. 
Okay, that wasn't that bad, but the fire one really beat my ass, apparently. Uh, or whatever one popped. But damn, then you can just kill those guys. And as you can see there, I got some runes. Got a nice thal rune that could help for a spirit. Sword, if you want to make a spirit sword if you's broke. Uh, a couple rares. And here's this hog of an ancient axe. Yeah, so pretty sure Titan's Revenge could fall right there. Uh, Mews don't really know that for a fact, but pretty sure it can, right? A Nightmare from the Trav. Look at this hog. The Minotaur. That's a hog. Uh, it may be kind of fun making like a barbarian or something to use that. And uh, like I said, I am doing self-found right now, so it might be a good opportunity. I don't really need that piece of shit. But let's go identify those other rares. Uh, you can up the rare if you find a nice normal mode rare. You can up it in the cube uh, to a nightmare, which is exceptional, or an elite one, rather, which is a hell mode item. So nothing too hot right there, but yeah, just in that one run, brah, Iceman got an exceptional mode, uh, unique. So, more videos to come on this shit. Like the video, if you will, I've been playing a little bit of Path of Exile. But Diablo just rocks, and I am looking forward to whatever this next project is that Blizzard's going to announce this year, they claimed, 2019. So, of course, nobody gives a shit about Diablo Immortal, or around Iceman's Land anyway, they don't. But, uh, fortunately, there's another one coming. But Diablo 2 rocks, you know, there's plenty of things to do right now, so I got a lot of more videos to come. So like the video, subscribe to the page, become a patron, and peace be with ye.